The fight continues, but I will not lose unless I forget. But I will never forget because I was there. I saw my people taking flight for business, thinking that they were boarding an aircraft, but they were boarding a missile. I was there when the plumes of black smoke filled the air, marking the buildings no longer there. I saw my fellow countrymen close their eyes wanting to pray, but I knew that they did not know what to say. God would have to interpret their hearts on that day. I was there when rapidly expanding pulverized cement blanketed lower Manhattan, forcing the civilians and the first responders to run in opposite directions. And the fight continues. And on that soot covered black tar, the dead were not only victims, they were casualties of war. America had become a battleground, bravely led by first responders. And the fight continues. And then I saw my people, in spite of this calamity, find their strength, put aside their differences, and work together. Cars, boats, bikes, and trains, all were utilized to help people get to a safer place. There were no strangers on the streets. Everyone were like fellow comrades that you wanted to meet. Patriotism was at an all-time high. That is why I put the world on notice, saying, America will protect its people. America is a blessed nation. America loves to pray, but America is not the prey. We are the predator. And you can read between those lines and never forget that I am the flag of the United States of America, but you can call me Old Glory. May we never forget those that died in 9-11. May God bless their families and may God bless the United States of America.